Hello and welcome to this Challenger 3 video where we'll be taking this beast of a tank out and shooting and murdering some people and exploding their tanks. That will be good. What? The M53 shell, which is the main kind of selling point of this tank, I think. Or the, the gun as well, it sort of has added penetration. Uh, to the L27A1, which only has, I don't know, about 500 and some millimeters, whereas this has obviously 652 at 10 at zero degrees, at 10 meters. So that kind of goes down a little bit, obviously at different angles, but in it, it still adds a lot more penetration. The M33 is like three extra penetration levels over the L26 that you get, and then you just jump straight to it at the M53. You don't have to go through like an L23A1 shell, which just has no penetration at all at this BR. But usually you do have common spots where you shoot tanks anyway, that every single shell will go through. But the higher penetration you have, the easier it will go through and it won't get sort of fooled by slight angles and all that sort of thing. So you can probably still kill a fuel tank on a Russian tank or any tank for that matter. And not do any other damage because as you can see the fuel tanks kind of line the side so if you shoot it from an angle it might just kill the fuel tank and not the anything in the tank itself which is rather annoying but i do wonder if they're going to add any kind of meaning to fuel tanks because right now they don't really do anything and i think if you shot every single fuel tank out you'd still work maybe you wouldn't Get that T80 and the lovely jubbly. That was, uh, that was a good shot. I do see another tank though. Um, but I think he's just exploded as well. No, he hasn't. He's just, uh, someone just, yes, move forward more. Thank you very much. That's not exactly what I intended, but probably angle ourselves more. Right? And, uh, there we go. Beautiful. That's some nice early picks. Which are always advantageous in these scenarios. Now, can I see that T80 from here? That, yeah, that's dead. That's, yeah, everything's dead there. Okay, so. Is there still that? Oh, there is. Okay, he's still alive. Nope. Oh, if I shot a millimeter down, he would have been dead. Because my load is dead, it's taking forever to reload. So either way, he's dead, so we can go back to focusing on our GBUs and dropping dropping them on people. Um, I do want to make sure there's no AA vehicles that spawn in, though. Right now, we should be okay. I think I'm going to... The guy's probably... Oh, that's nearly... Uh, I think... I don't know. But we're going we're gonna to drop one on him. Because uh, the other guy died, so we're going to drop that. Uh, make sure that we track him nicely. I don't know if my teammates saw him now. Yeah, there's the GBU, and there he goes. That's the 102 SEP. That actually killed me earlier. I'm assuming that was a backup, or... I, I do see he's sent a... Uh... Oh, a missile towards me, though. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus wept. Uh, oh, it's a panster. Okay. Um, he's no longer a panster, so we're gonna lock this guy. Um, because he's moved his laser, I can see the GBU. Maybe that wasn't the GBU. Where is it? Oh, he's gonna get killed though. Oh wait, what? Is it locked on a dead person? No. Look on him. Though I'm about to kill the SP. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. You were right. He was right next to it. Like. Not one I could do about that. Well, that's a lie. I could do something about it, but I, I decided not to. There is a 2S6 up, however, so we're going to see what we can do about that. Uh, and one of those people, uh, which seems to be... Uh, we are going to drop a bomb on it. I think he's dead. Or he might be, actually. Uh, well, that's awkward. Where the GP is gonna drown and land. Oh, well, no, he's not dead. Okay, well, he's about to. Oh, 
I just as well I kept the GBU on there because otherwise, yep, yeah. and we won. Nice. A nice five kill game plus a team kill. Well, we are now into our next game. These maps, not overly keen on these kind of maps, strictly because, well, they're one point maps. Everything just seems to happen in about two seconds of the if you're spawning you have no there's no real positioning or strategy it is literally who can kill most people first basically if you if you get sort of a clean team wipe in the first 30 seconds of the round then you're gonna have a good time with the rest of the game it's the same with every map that decide, the map, every map that's designed this way. Uh, it's just not really a fun experience, especially at top tier. Maybe low tier would be better, but uh, top tier is not particularly the most enjoyable way of playing. Uh, somehow we've managed to kill them two people anyway, so that's a win at that point. I am going to try and cover the teammate because I know he's been shot by someone else around the corner. I'm not sure where he is. There he is. Let's get rid of him. And I'm going to use him as cover. No, nope. I'm not. I'm going to apparently get a shot on my uh, my loader commander's going to... Or my gunner commander's going to die, so I, I literally can't shoot anyone. That's slightly annoying. It would be nice if that helps me repair and slightly covers me a little bit. I was going to help him repair, but then I got bonked by a bloody tank. I think they're going to attempt to flank us over there. I'm not really sure. I'm going to clear out of here a little bit, though. I don't want to. Don't want to overstay my welcome. And I'd rather not get flanked, so I'm going to sort of sit here for a sec. I knew that was going to happen. I, I'm not entirely sure what his plan was there. Uh, yeah, they're literally just... ...watching down this road. They're not going to move, are they? Right, yeah. I'm not going to peek until one of them peek. And they can peek. They are literally just killing every single part of that fence. Ooh, might get a... Ah. That guy's not paying attention to this direction. Hello there. Oh my god. Probably a stupid idea to help this challenge your OES, isn't it? Oh, I saw you and you're going to be able to shoot me. Bro! I'm actually gobsmacked at the performance of this, of the DM53 right now. It's actually insane. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the A point because, yeah, I knew he'd die. That's why I didn't go help him. You know. A bad spot. I do not want to be in. Uh, which kind of almost get myself on right now. Um, because there will be a guy. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, and there's two of them. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Uh, nope. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Cause. Look at those crash. Oh. Wait, what is that? I don't actually know what that is. Don't tell me you're going to chase me. I'm just going to get rid of the, the drop tank. They're seriously going to chase me. Oh, so boring. 
I seriously gonna have to drop my bombs just to kill this guy? Oh, I did. Oops, I didn't mean to go this far out. Oops. That's actually quite funny, though. Oh, it's a tornado. Okay, never mind. Uh, I just have to... There's an A-10 as well. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of the GBUs. Oh my god. Jesus. That is not going to pull. Oh my god, it is. No, it didn't. Fuck. I'm on, I'm, I'm still speed. Where's the A10? I've got myself into a dumb situation here. I've got no 9Ms and I've got a tornado and an A10 chasing me. Uh, so I need to get some speed up. That's what I need to do. Right, I've got my air brake out. That's not. That's. I wondered why I wasn't picking up speed. Huh. Ah! That's one way of killing someone. Well. Oh my, Jesus! I, thought I was playing. Made me think I was playing Lethal Company again. Jesus Christ! Attention to the designated... <laughs> well, I didn't even realise there was a nine L. Honestly, uh, coming for me, but apparently there was, and I got in the way. Uh, I got. In between him and the tornado, or the tornado got between me and him. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised that an A10 pilot fired a 9L um, in in the second line. I mean, the the amount of times that people will send a missile in second line. Oh, by what I mean, second line is like there's someone right on the guy six, and you in like, you know behind two other aircraft, or you're behind that aircraft, sends a missile in like a bit of a sus place. Like sometimes you could lead the missile. And you won't hit your teammate, and even then, that's a bit iffy if they flare, if the uh, enemy flares. Particularly if it's a 9L, if it's a 9M, it'll, it shouldn't. But again, the firing in second aspect, second uh, line is very, quite a bad idea. Because nine times out of ten, especially with 9Ls, you will TK. And that's what happened there. But it looks like we will might might get some GPU action here because we don't have the uh, we don't currently have the point. We have we have enough tanks on the ground as long as the CAS, which is myself, just enough to kill the ground vehicles. However, I do need to get to a reasonable height before I start actually dropping bombs on people because I'll be less obvious for a start. <laughs> So around the 5,000 meter mark is a nice, uh, nice mark I found where I sort of just fly over, drop lasers. The only times that it's kind of bad is if there's an AA paying attention or like a pan steer. In particular, is is rather a kryptonite for that sort of thing. And uh, I don't like the fact that there's pan steers in the game that can have such a range. I mean, why has it got like a 20 kilometer potential range compared to every other AA vehicle that's got about eight, maybe 10. Well, I think most of them are eight. I think I've seen the two S six I saw was eight. Uh, the Stormers eight. I think the Adats is around maybe eight to twelve. I'm not overly sure of that fully. But I think the fact that the Panther is basically you spawn and you can instantly die is is just a bit stupid, really. They either need to make, well, basically they just need to make this aircraft spawn a lot further away so you can't get one shot by a Panther as soon as you spawn in the game, because otherwise you're just gonna, you know, you, you, whole point of cast is kind of. 
uh, nullified then, isn't it? Uh, I, th I don't think I should really be flying. Oh god, I'm too high. I'm visible. No. But, um, we got to monitor that, to be honest with you, because if I don't, then probably going to get best six or something or add outs. Right, so this guy, I should be able to drop on a bomb on relatively safely um, without anyone actually. Are you serious? No, that guy. It went to lock onto the wrong guy. Or I was meant to lock onto this guy, but we'll see. I just hope he doesn't die before I can kill him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah, ah! get him. Yeah, beautiful. Like a 2A5, gone. Uh, okay. We got you. You're a good target. Probably. I don't know if that's how long that's going to be the case, but we are going to. Oh, can we get two of you? Oh my god, that's. that's No, lock on. No. Yeah, that. I mean. Are we going to be able to get that? Point real quick. I've GB'd quite a lot of people. And I don't really know. Oh, we got. We got. Oh, yeah, we got the two guys that I GB'd before. Um, where's the other guy? Oh my god, thank god. Ah! Yes! Wait, there's a guy on the point? No! I didn't realise there was a guy on the point. If I'd known that, I would have focused the guy on the point, not the guy that just spawned in. Oh, the, I mean, this is what I get annoyed at anyway. Wait, is it an aid? Oh, it's... Wait. Oh, my God. Oh! I want to be careful not to wing, rip my wings. Either. Oh, that's a city. This guy, it's a, it's a building that is, that's uh, not good for it. Not good for my health as an aircraft. And we're back, but this time we are on the desert map now. Are you sure about that? There's been a few, a couple games since the last one in this recording, and both of which have been extremely painful. The first one I crashed into a tree with a Roy Valk. Sorry if, I, if you heard me punching the mic there. And the second one was just awful. It was on Hurtgen Forest, spawned on the bad side of the map. Um, or, or I think it's the bad side of the map. It's the side of the map, I think, where your the B point is your first point, your closest point. And it was just, it was rather painful. We basically just lost straight away. People were being sniped off the B itself. Like, we, we just couldn't get anywhere, basically. And just got absolutely incinerated. So, that was not a fun experience. But we're here. Um, we're, we're vibing and we are... Tending to have a better experience in this game, I think. Getting around this corner is probably going to be a terrible idea, but I'm going to try and sort of. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, he's kind of. Oh my god! Don't kill my track. Yeah, I'm. To it. Actually, cow. Oh. They smoked off, so that's a bit stupid. Ah! And I'll just kill you. Is guy still alive? Died. Yeah, he, uh. That was the KVT, yeah, it was. Yeah, he tried to go around the corner a bit, a bit passionately. We're gonna now scout this out. Of course, it's the Americans that decide to try and rush, isn't it? The Germans are probably sitting back and chilling, aren't they? Yeah, they are. 
so he's now been shot, so I'm going to go around the corner and... Oh, there's actually a town. I don't know where the uh, German tanks have gone. A little bit concerned about that. A little bit concerned about that. We're gonna decap B because it just. Oh my god, that's not me. Okay, we're actually gonna try and. and cap it here. We might have some map control. Capture it. There, but I'm gonna go in the middle. I can control around the middle side and cover A and B at similar times. Uh oh. Thank God for a uh, holding angle advantage. Unlike Siege Peak's advantage isn't really a thing, well, I think it's just reaction times, honestly. Thank God for also sound, sound whoring, because I saw his, heard his engine. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, is there an Abrams? And, uh, and there was, so that is a nice... Good reaction times for me, I'm not going to lie. I sort of saw him and was like, oh crap. <laughs> I heard him and thought, oh crap, that's not good. And I pressed mouse one and he dead. He no longer. So, oh, we got a guy over there. Got a guy over there. We're gonna. That's shot enough. That's gonna work, is it? I wish it did. That guy gonna snipe there. Or oh, basically just bounced. Yeah, laser warning is really nice because obviously people are going to take a second to laser uh, laser range find and you can kind of get out of the way before they finish it um it's a nice touch I, I do wish it had aps but i'm assuming the future versions they put in game will have aps because i'm pretty sure that i mean the challenger 3 in real life has aps if i'm not mistaken similar to the macabre of the same technology used, my knowledge. Oh my god, what is shooting at me? I think it's just that um, Abrams that's trying to shoot at me. I, I can't really see him too far. Weirdly, the, uh, the laser was coming from more the left side, which is why I was a bit confused. Oh, what? Why being oh. these back? What? You bitch. So uncivilized. Honestly, man. That was a big move, that was. You're gonna shoot me? You better kill me. I don't actually know what that's from, but. Let me quote. But if you're gonna aim a gun at me, you better kill me because. Yeah. So we are kind of. We have kind of pushed them out a little bit, I think. Probably the center of the map. That's a good... I do like these bigger maps. A lot of people complain about them, but I, I much prefer them, mainly because you can kind of do more things. Especially if there's more cover as well. You can kind of move up and gradually take position. And gradually get to the spawn rather than really rushing. And I do like what they're doing, and I just hope that... The one thing I think they've errored with air is that they've kept the small maps in, which I... I mean, they've made City not air spawn. But it doesn't really do anything, to be honest with you. It, it just makes it prolong the suffering of the map. Um, I think if they just make every map kind of biggie, like they have with Vietnam, Sinai... Uh, I think there's another slightly bigger map as well. And, it, and it's quite nice. It's the perfect size as well. The top tier. And I think they're trying to do the same with Ground RB, but they're keeping the small maps in. Which I don't like, and I mean I know. T oh my god, there, 
Yeah, we could. Oh nope. shit. No, 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 oh, no, no, shit. no, 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 I'm no, sorry. no, 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 no. Why? I'm so bad. Oh wait, there's something over there. It, it locked. No, that's the team. I know there's a helicopter over there. I just. I don't know where it is. Oh, there he is. Can I lock onto him? Yeah, I can. Yes. There we go. I knew there was a helicopter somewhere. My radar was. A. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. oh my god. <laughs> that guy saved my life there, Jesus. There's one of them. Another one over there. Get the rocks. What? Him. That was very close. Find me there, I'll be incinerated on Alpha right now. I think there's any, any more of them left. One of my teammates needs to really capture Alpha. Because my role here is to sit back and fight. Not so much to push up. You know, encourage my team to do that. I do. I, I can push up. This is a faster tank, so I can do similar things to the Abrams. But I find I think the Abrams a bit too of rushing and not dying so easily. The Challenger Three still has the same weaknesses as the Challenger One and Two, albeit slightly more. Slightly better than the Challenger 1. Similar with the Challenger 2, better, but. I'm fast as fuck, boy! To be a well, a not anymore. Typical French player. Sorry, I just. I, the, the French tree is just. I mean, I don't know. I think it's probably the worst tree in the game. Or. Is that a tank? No, it's a decoration. I think so. There's still something over there, and that's dead. I can't see the thing much. It's kind of a, pretty annoying. Oh, no, I can see him. I think that's it. Oh. What about, what, where was I hit from? I have no idea. I think it was over there. One of them. Yeah, it was that guy. Can't see him yet. Come on. Peek out. I'm not gonna peek out, is he? If I move down and then up again. Still can't see. He really wants me to hit his cheek. I'm not hitting his cheek. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna orange out your barrel, okay. Oh, another French guy. Deciding to be like, I, I can go really fast. I can rush. But that's the RV, the only one left, and he's dead out of them. Oh, we've still got that guy over there. That's a very sort of inconsistent shot, that is. Sometimes it one shots them, and then sometimes it'll do absolutely nothing. Oh, there's another guy there. Is that a French? Another French tank. That's a Chinese tank. Go for the French tank. That's not a French tank. Why did I think it was a French tank? Weird. Is it the Chinese tank? Yeah, it is. They... I know it's... Wait, what? I, I'm not sure. I got teammates around me. Yeah, I do. Okay. Ah! Oh! Good. Oh, we're almost at 5,000 meters already. Okay. Right, so let's just uh, get a late... Ah! 
I don't know where he is. I can only see that tornado. How I've been killed. Ah! We got a lock though. But because we're close enough to him. No, we're not close enough to him. We need to be closer. I'm sort of using the capture points as a reference to how far I am. He's not going to be getting alerted to this lock, so it doesn't really matter. Although, I. Oh, no. uh oh. I, I'm just speechless about that last game. We, uh... <laughs> that was that was something else. That was that was that was uh, yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> ah, yes. See him and him. Radiator. Best thing I'm gonna get so far. Trouble with this is that I've got to be careful of my left at B. Whereas the other spot I usually use, I don't have. Gonna peek up. He did. There's a wolf pack. Oh, wait, what? I just got hit by. Smooth. Oh. I was uh, a little bit. Well, I only got his engine, that's not exactly what. Uh, I'm reloading. Um, There's a guy over there. A tiger? He is. What the dog doing? Okay, well that's satisfying the fact that I can just one shot him because I've been playing in American tanks for the past, well had been playing in American tanks around 6.0 of the day and oh my word was the the tiger, the tiger annoying. Oh there's a, there's a thing there, a thing. I should use HE. No, I'm not going to use the HE. Stick with the stick with the APFSDS shell. Oh, there's now there's a guy on B. Oh. Will we focus on him? Got a hit, unfortunately. Yeah. So there's uh, there's a place place where I can sit and see the people up there. Ricochet. This is an annoying spot to be in. I'm not. Someone over there. And that will do it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy. It was quite some uh, some chaotic gameplay and rather rather frustrating, but I hope you did enjoy the the chaos and the fails in this video. The next video should be a Lethal Company one. It was quite chaotic to record, so I hope you enjoy the chaos of that. But I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.